PlayStation Tournaments for PS5 officially launches today. Uh, this story published yesterday, November 29th on Eurogamer, uh, suggests that uh, Tournaments for PlayStation 5 is an updated version of the feature first seen on PS4 back in 2016. This gives players an on-console means of competing against each other, against other players, excuse me, to win prizes across the likes of PlayStation events, challenges, and leaderboard competitions. Sony says the new PlayStation 5 version of tournaments streamlines the competitive player experience, offering easily discoverable tournaments, seamless on-console signups, shorter tournament times, and automatic real-time match updates, all delivered through a new AI. I believe the titles here that are on tournaments include FIFA 23, NBA 2K23, and Guilty Gear with various prizes up for grabs. Chris, what's your thought on tournaments for PS5? Is this what PlayStation needs to keep its users engaged and to generate the next layer iteration of esports? Yeah, no, I don't think this is what PlayStation needs. This is what esports needs. You know, I mean, time and time again, you know, I do think we have to grow this market. And I'm really, really fingers crossed hoping that this system that they release, you know, gives the casual gamer the opportunity to feel, you know, the excitement of competitive gaming. But at the same time, you know, it's vital that the esports community supports this. And I don't want to hear about lag spikes and all these other potential things that are going to happen or, you know, different. There's all these things that could possibly go wrong that a casual gamer probably won't even realize. And, you know, it's going to be really cool to see how well this performs. Because, you know, again, when you look at FIFA, it's a massive market of players who can now, you know, look. Today's gamer wants rewards, right? It's just that's they want a reward. It used to be, again, old Chris talking, I want a rewarding experience. I want to play Final Fantasy because I want to see a story happen. Now it's, you know, this other thing where I want to get that mount. And it's just always this need for some kind of reward. And I think that these kind of tournaments that are, you know, again, held properly can just really make esports a much more approachable product because there's a market who really does want to feel that excitement about winning a tournament. I want to catch up on chat here before getting to you, Jeff, and your thoughts. Uh, Matt agrees, good for PlayStation. More gaming giants should support esports. Microsoft does that with Halo, but Nintendo provides no support for Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Shots. Facts. Jeff, what do you think about Chris's comments uh, on what esports needs on excuses like lag spiking and on whether or not PlayStation tournaments will help funnel that next generation of esports gamer that perhaps orgs can find, as well as providing a much needed, I think, reward system for the mid-tier gamers that might never be competitive truly at the highest levels, but still need this to stay interested and engaged? A uh, lot of questions there. I don't know about lag spikes. I think... Um... You know, it's interesting that PlayStation is doing this, but we'll see how much uptake there is, right? Because I, I think that having this infrastructure, you know, in the system is is helpful, but like it's kind of like not completely sufficient, right? Like the actual torment, like the tournament bracketing system is not that hard. Like there's hundreds of esports tournaments platforms out there that can do like a simple bracket. Now they're not all integrated into the, the actual PlayStation. So this makes it easier. But I think what you really need to have like a thriving uh, ecosystem is actually the marketing, the infrastructure, like the actual community building to use a little bit of a buzzword. And I'm not sure that PlayStation is going to lean in enough to that to where this just might be like an icon on a screen. And like, will they actually build what they need to build around it to actually push people through the funnel um, would be my one fear. You know, that's partially why I, I included our other PlayStation stories here. It's with the disconnect in the messaging and kind of moving in one direction versus another. I absolutely think this tournament system is something that's needed in console gaming and PC gaming uh, for that casual audience that wants to have a, a feeling of accomplishment. The, the competitive nature of esports is really that driving force. Uh, however, to your point, Jeff, they need to stick with it. And, you know, it can't just be PlayStation. To Matt's joke, you know, you would love to see Nintendo supporting this with fighting games uh, and would love to see Microsoft expanding this beyond just Halo. So lo looking forward to seeing what this does for the gaming community at large, but hoping that this is not a one-time thing. Well, guys, those are... Oh, Chris, 
yeah, one no, final no, insight. I just, yeah, I just want to throw to your point. So, like, if I turn on my PlayStation right now, I'm going to just see the games that I have. But, like, if PlayStation does this right and I turn my PlayStation on and it's like, hey, want to win five grand, you know, like, and play this game? I think it's very powerful because it can introduce people to new opportunities, to new games, and like give them a new reason to do something outside of you know their comfort zone per se. But you know, again, it's more the we need more people talking about you know that gaming can be something that is more than just a recreational thing. And you know, for PlayStation to do that, you know, it's no different than if a small time Twitch streamer gets to be on that you know that top band. And now there's some more visibility. Esports needs visibility, a lot of it. So I'm very, you know, fingers crossed, but I'm definitely positive on this. I think we're all optimistic, and I agree. You know, you want to see more tournaments, more legitimate roads to success and to creating, I think, a, a sustainable industry. Uh, and this will breed that layer of players for sure, while also keeping the rest of the audience engaged.